Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. I'm a truck driver here with Rosedale Transport. And in today's video, I'm going to stop at a weight station and go in and ask the, the Highway Patrol some questions. So stick away all the way to the end and let me know if it helps you out. So hopefully they'll talk to me. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they throw me out. They're not really throw me out, but sometimes they're standoffish. But sometimes they're really helpful. And I do these videos not to get like gotcha moments or anything like that. I do these videos to educate, educate the drivers. Try to help y'all, you know what I mean? You doing sir get a minute um i got a few questions for you i'm a driver trainer i train for rosedale and um i just want to make sure i'm putting out the right information okay i'll see you come in with that yeah 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 yeah. I, I do I, i'm very positive i've got a few a lot of pod no, no nothing negative buddy no. I, I, I didn't know if it was your dash cam or something no no i just i got a youtube channel and i put out educational stuff and it's not one of those i like, got you moments or anything like that it just it's educational the question will be what are the number one things y'all violate people for here in kentucky so that way drivers can be prepared. Uh, so Kentucky is one of eight states right. that has their own tax. Kentucky Way Distance Tax, that's, okay. probably, that's probably half of it. Okay. You have to have a KYU permit or license to operate through Kentucky. Yeah, I just want or, to uh, thank you. So Sorry. you list on the taxable inventory Sorry. list. You can come no to problem. Kentucky and your company has a KYU license, you have to be on their taxable inventory list. That's probably at least 50%. <laughs> right, right. That, that or flat tires. So y'all have the tire system here? Yes. How, how does that work? In Kentucky have tires. How does, how does that work? Uh, so there's plates in the concrete when okay. you come on the on-ramp. Okay. It detects uh, the pressure on the ground. And if that pressure really isn't the same as the tire next to it, or what it shouldn't be, then it kicks it off as a flat tire and we go out and check it. So that's the way to get in, pretty much. So if your tire, like, I mean, the way to, I mean, to get your yeah, foot in the, the door, pretty much. So. And then we're, our system's here. They read the DOT number in your plate instantly, so we know uh, if your company's taxes are revoked, if you're missing a permit. You know right then. Wrong. Yeah. So if everything's getting, so what the, I guess what I'm getting at is, to, you know, to get a level, you know, we don't want, we try not to get the level ones and stuff like that, but to get that, if your taxes are good and your tires are good and your weight's good, you've got a good chance of just getting on by. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> so that's the main thing. So tires are very important yeah, then. Make sure you're, you're working with a good company. And right. They're doing, paying their taxes. And uh, do your pre trips, post trips, stuff like that. Right. And you should face no problem. All right. So let's talk about logs for a minute. Because I got some, uh, and I know you asked six people this question. You're probably going to get six different answers. But um, when it comes to PC, okay, let's use this for example. Piece of paper. Cool, you got one? FMCSA has a Q&A on PC time. Great, great, great. That'd be great. Because we have a lot of questions. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of questions about that. Appreciate it. Okay, yep. next question. ABS lights on the side of the trailer. ABS lights, yeah. Those are the most annoying things because what happens, and this is from my experience, I get a trailer, the ABS lights on, some of the, the driver before me didn't take care of it. So I go to Love's or wherever, I get it fixed. Sometimes I get there, when I turn the truck off waiting, the light goes off. And then Love's is like, we can't fix it, there's nothing wrong with it. Then I go up the road, 20 miles, the light comes back on again. Then I stop and get it fixed. So my question is this, and uh, if I stop and let's say we spend X amount of money, whatever, and they say it's good, and then it comes back on and I get pulled in for a level one, is it a violation even if I got paperwork where I you, just you, left? You go off with, at the time of inspection. So it's not, so it's that not that even though know, I got it fixed right up here, yep. it doesn't matter. It's time of inspection. So I need to make sure, no, if it comes on, stop and fix it, pretty much. Yeah. Is it an out of service violation or is it just a violation? I've, I don't, I don't think I've ever dealt with is to see if the lamp's working or not. That's right. not a him question. It's not an out of service. It's not an out of service, but is, do, do y'all, I guess the question, and I'm not trying to, I know the law's law, but do y'all look for like, if it's coming through, let's say you come through here, then all of a sudden you see, oh, that light's on, we need, we need to that's pull the, them in? That's a reason to stop you, yeah. Okay, so that's officer discretion. If you see the light on, 
Just like if you seen a, a hose hanging or something, I guess. Well, not technically, with this industry, this is the one industry you do not have that probable cause to make traffic stop. You do not? Oh, right, correct, correct. That's correct. Oh. Correct. Yeah, so I, I guess I just wonder how big of a deal is it. So I, I guess still I, law's I, a law, but. I've only been doing this six months. Right. I, it's just a real annoying. <laughs> that ABS lot is. I haven't seen nothing. Okay, good, good, okay. Uh, and it then, will never be an out of service. And then just make sure axle weights. Which yeah, the axle weight. weight. You'll see a lot of that. In Kentucky, do y'all allow any for so on like your eight, like your eight, your EPU? Sorry. So on I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, you get depends if you're farm plated and stuff like that. But the basic rule of thumb is thirty four thousand pounds. Correct. If you're on a U.S. highway, you are exempt from axle weights if you have a certified CAT scale ticket. Okay. Okay. Um, Interstates, no exemptions. So I noticed like on the side of my truck, it says like there's like 400 pounds or something like that exemption for the EPU unit. That's a federal thing. That's a federal thing. It's up to 600 pounds. So, so if I come over at 34 or 4. I'm not going to look at you twice. Okay. That, that was my question. Yeah. All right. And then the uh, the, the first is, it was it 12,000? Your, your, um, your steer. Your steer says 12, but actually we go by car load limit. Okay. So it can go up to 13? Side of your car. Okay. Look at max weight single. There's a weight on there. Didn't know that. Times it by two. So the max weight single times two. This is good. This is good information. That's, this right. is what I'm trying to get. The reason they do the 12, 34, 34 is that it equals 80. Correct. But you still can't be over 80 no matter what. But yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You're yeah, you're stuck. <laughs> I appreciate it. And these are the BC questions, so this, this helps out a lot. Yeah, that is from FMCSA directly. Okay. Next question is, I know the answer, but I still, people ask me these questions, so I'm going to ask you anyway. I know it's very important to do pre-trips. I, I, I preach that daily anyway on all my classes. But the question they've asked, people are asking me, is there a limit to how long that pre-trip is? No. So they decide to do a bad pre-trip, but it's five minutes. Take you no more, no less than 15 minutes. That's what I say. But if somebody locked, 15 to 30 minutes for a free trip. If you're doing less than 15 minutes, you ain't doing a free trip. Correct. That's what I say. But the question is, is it a violation if you look at their lock and they only had an eight minute pre trip? It's not. As long as they have. What about post trips? Is there? Is that? Is that? Is that a mandatory? That's good to do. You're I'm not. Supposed to do it. Yeah, you're supposed to do it. I just want to know if it's a violation. So what are the main um, log violations y'all see? I, I see a lot of false record of duty status here. What do you I, mean? I'm not usually from here. What do you mean false record of duty? Uh, people driving in sleeper berth or off duty. And they're moving. <laughs> and there's no other ELD users, and that's the only CMV they've been in, and they can't explain it. Or PC. People are like, oh, it's taking the truck to the shop. That but they're still further in the load. That is still further in the business. You have to be on duty driving. Correct. Okay. Business related stuff. So, is strictly PC. So, is there a, a lesser of two evils? I guess the question is going to be if falsifying logs or violating your logs. Is there a lesser one as far as fine goes? No. Like, so the it's the same logs, thing. If, if you get if you get a citation in Kentucky, the fine is going to be twenty five dollars plus the added court cost, uh, and it it varies, uh, but it's around the one forty one fifty range in court cost. Now, so, what FMCSA does points wise or whatever, right? We don't deal with that. That's federal government. Like a guy driver called me yesterday. He said, Hey, man, he said, I was six miles from the load. I was going to violate. He said, But I went ahead and PC. I said, You can't do that. You can't forward the load. I said, you, I said If you're going to do it, I, you might as well just violate because I, I thought, you know, falsifying logs would be worse. Like, you know, like you're lying, but. Yeah, no. Whatever safety score is or whatever right. towards that, we don't deal with that. We don't okay. Know. I appreciate y'all taking the time to answer these questions. These are just some questions that people are asking me, and I just I want to make sure I'm putting out the right information. That's all. Channel. It's Trucking Life with Sean. Trucking Life. Is that as an I N -E? L I F E? Trucking, yeah. Trucking. I N G. It's I -N -G. trucking, yeah. And trucking life with Sean. I've got a lot of pro positive D O T videos on there. So. S H A W. S H A W N. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do, I do appreciate it. I won't be posting it until next week because I'm finished up this week and next week I'll be in Panama City. So <laughs> I'll do that. Hey, sir, I appreciate everything you do and trying to put the good word that y'all ain't all bad. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
Let me know in the comments below if that video helped you out at all. Let me know if you're interested in me doing more of those type of videos. And if so, please comment below on the questions that you want me to ask them. Thanks for subscribing. It's Trucking Live with Sean. Get it.